Hey everybody, I'm Captain Floofers. And I'm Soylent Greg. And welcome back to Ocarina of Time Randomizer Triforce Hunt Edition. Woohoo! Um, and uh, when we last left off, we had 13 uh, pieces of the Triforce. Uh, a little over halfway there, but we have been getting stuck. Mm. Um, I got a good feeling about this run. I really do. I think we're gonna we're gonna kick some ass here. Yeah. Um, seeing as like as of this recording, there's only like two. Like this is like the penultimate session that Greg and I can have in person mm -hmm. together, and I kind of want to get this done before I move. So um, we're going for it. We're gonna see what we can do. I, I've actually have written down. Uh, what's the thing I wanted to? I'm trying to think of B A B A up down B A left right B A start. Oh, no, wait, that's how you get uh, 10 lives in Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 2, the arcade game. Oh, okay. Problem. The lemon heads are fucking with me. I'm eating lemon heads. They are delicious. They are my favorite candy. I'm just going to... Well, maybe you're not ready for that one, but your kids are going to love it. <laughs> um, so... I've written down a list of, according to the, uh, the, the tracker, if I've, um, you know, interpreted things correctly, all of the things that we can currently do with our current, you know, lay, uh, weapon layout and everything. Yes, we have our work cut out for us. And um, that'll, at the very least, like, even if we do find other items and go off and do other things, that'll at least give us uh, something that we can look at to know where we can go. Um, and the first thing we're going to do uh, is we're going to go to Dodongo's Cavern. The horrible city of the door. Because um, I didn't I, I didn't realize it at the time, but when we got the bow, we gained the ability to clear Dodongo's Cavern as an adult. Mm. Because everything the slingshot can do, the bow can do as well. Everything so, you can do, I can do better. Yeah. But while we're here, there is one other thing that I remember writing down. Um, back in the maze area... They say that the uh, bow is just the slingshot for adults, but... I don't remember the Battle of Agincourt being won with slingshots. So, I said before that we couldn't get through, like, this side con passage here because of the, um, we needed the, the hammer. pointing at the side passage, folks. <laughs> but uh, I forgot that we have the silver gauntlets and we can just pick up these gray oh, boulders. Oh, we can pick shit up! Yeah. So we can just kind of cheese our way through this, uh, this maze and get the last chest that's in here. Fuck you, boulders. And I don't feel like wasting, uh, bombs, so I'm not blowing up the blow up -able bombs. Or blowable blow rocks, I should say. The blowables. That's the one. That's the technical term. Blowable. Yes. That's the scientific term. I think that was like a, a toy when we were kids. A blowable. Uh, well, if it isn't, we, we should go. make it up and say that it was, so that we can feed into the 80s nostalgia. What you got? It's a token. All right, that's okay. That's okay. That's fine. That's all right, kids. Oh, oh, we bumped into a wall. All right, now we're going to go to Dodongo's Cavern. So yeah, and Patrick and I will be doing stuff from a great distance uh, um, over Discord. Uh, uh, shouldn't yeah. be any particularly large difference for you, the viewer. Um, it will be more difficult to determine whether I have successfully freaked Patrick out with a joke or not. Uh, <laughs> So I'll have to get all of my, like, OnlyFans jokes out now. Uh, <laughs> that's actually, you can find us streaming on OnlyFans slash Squeeze the World Gaming. I don't know how the, the they set those up. I, I'm not familiar. Um, but yes, you can, you can watch our videos. You can watch pictures of our feet. Um, Please don't. <laughs> Please this, give us demonic. These are all lies. <laughs> uh, all of them are lies. Oh, yeah, no. Please don't. I, I, I wish we were huge so somebody would create that page as a parody. You know, I it may didn't have mean to, to go this me. way. You didn't mean to go this way? I did not mean to go this way. That's okay. We actually I don't, you can stay here as long as you want as far as I'm concerned. You've got the, the kick-ass flamenco... Uh, Oh, look at the Gerudo Valley. Gerudo Valley theme. Yeah. Best, best song in the game, Play in my the opinion. Esteban guitar. No, too sexy, too <laughs> sexy. That's what all the people on our OnlyFans page say. Exactly. <laughs> 
I'm the one who said I'm the one who said please please don't, and then I continued it. So that makes I'm, me a hypocrite. I'm glad we got. I'm glad that Bella Thorne got there before we did, because I would have broken the platform even harder. So yeah, I don't know who that is. She's a Disney star, apparently. She signed. She started an OnlyFans, and she charged people two hundred dollars for a naked picture, and then it wasn't a naked picture. So apparently. Um, hmm. Thousands of, of simps uh, filed chargebacks on OnlyFans, and now they're putting all sorts of like restrictions on performers that weren't there before. So yeah, mm. she ruined it for everybody. I see. I know that there's a skull tool up there that we won't be able to get right away because we have to come like back around the other way. And what they listen. don't know is that she only saved you all from a worse fate, which is the scam I was going to run, wherein you pay me for tips on how to beat the 1987 NES classic Rygar. <laughs> and then you don't provide those tips? That's absolutely correct. <laughs> My tips are use the use the uh, the save state and load state function to cheat, which is technically not beating Rygar. Actually, if that's not beating Rygar, then I didn't actually beat Rygar this year. Because that game, a couple levels towards the end of that game are pretty pretty beastly. That's better than what I would do. I mean, if, if people paid me to get, do tips for Rygar, I would just be singing some of the background music. Oh, that's absolutely. All I'm, it's so I just, good. I would just send them a video back going... Oh, it's so good. Video game music was so good. And video game music is so good, by and large. Depending on what game you play. If, you know, if you, don't, if you play Resident Evil, not so much. Depending on what you, Resident Evil version you want. <laughs> I'm getting at clown pianos, is what I'm getting at. <laughs> we need to, like, that should have become, like, a, a recurring thing on here where that, a bit of that plays when someone gets beat. <laughs> 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 well, I meant that I I, I keep I, I kept thinking of um making it so that like whenever I got like a money chest, it would do the money clip, and and like whenever we get a skull till it would do the uh, the skull sound effect from uh, Adult Swim. Oh yeah, the from the the end of the credits, the Williams Street credits. Skull. Yeah, yeah, I just never. Got around to it. Yeah, I'm just lazy. Okay. I mean, I'm also, you know, doing things like packing. Finding all of these fucking shiny pieces. Oh, yeah, that, that too. That's important. <laughs> Come on. We are the fairies, Link. Don't you want us to shower you with love? No, Link, they're lying. <laughs> it brings us love. Break its legs. You want some of this? Bring it right on. So, um, I will tell you all, I was thinking of doing some streaming, some recording of my own, and I got this wonderful idea in my head to uh, combine the Dark Souls item randomizer and the Dark Souls fog gate randomizer and, uh, and do a run of it. So, uh, I installed both mods the other day, and I booted up, um, Dark Souls Remastered, and, uh, I played my way through the Undead Asylum, and I went through the first fog gate, and I'm like, okay, where does this lead? And it led me to the boss room of Ornstein and Smo. Okay. <laughs> and I'm like, well, this run's over. I'm assuming that's a, uh... You got a single deck do not. Yeah, that sucks. I'm assuming that that's a bad place to go at the beginning. Famous, yeah, you don't want to get a boss right off the bat because there's no way to level up. And I got the hardest boss in the entire game. Well, not the hardest boss in the entire game, but way up there. Oh, anyway, I don't want to go back down yet. Uh, L is real. L was never real. It says Eternal Star. Like, the first time somebody pointed that out as a theory, I went and looked at it, and I was like, it does say Eternal Star. We've all been lied to all these years. There never was a treehouse. Um, 
But according to the Mega the man Leak, fixing the clock was a ghost the whole time. That's Clock Tower. It's not well, actually Clock Tower. Kid. That's, that's the... a little kid with a giant pair of scissors. Yes. Dan Burrows. Dan Burrows is the name of the kid from Clock Tower? Yes. That sounds like a like a guy who reads the like 9 o'clock news. I didn't Oh, I'm make Dan Burrows, and these are tonight's top stories. Or was... I have a giant pair of scissors. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's Bobby. Bobby Burrows is the... Is the scissorman. Oh, okay. Bobby Burrow sounds like the quarterback <laughs> who had like a, a whole whole thing hushed up about him forcing the co ed in the back seat of his Cadillac. Yeah, was, uh, uh, but uh, like no Dan Dan Burrows is the is the uh, is the mute the purple mutant baby in the um, in the basement in Clock Tower. Ah. Do you know what I'm talking about? This is no, this is the time to tell you that I've I've never made it more than like three screens in the Super Nintendo Clock Tower. I see. It is very... It is It is not a casual game. No, I've, I've seen playthroughs of it, and uh, those are things that are actually in the game, so... It's very interesting, and then, like, the other games aren't as good. The, the first one on the PS1, the, the one that... The, the the first one that we got over here... Uh-huh. Um, it's, it's called Clock Tower, and it's, it, but it's, it's actually Clock Tower 2. That's like uh, Kingsfield. The first Kingsfield we got in the U.S. was actually Kingsfield 2. Yeah. Because the, the the SNES one never came out over here. And then like the, when they actually decided to put one over, it was it was the sequel. And they just called it Clock Tower over here. But it is a sequel. And that one's okay. And then the one that... that um, the one that uh, was actually called... Uh, go, uh, was actually called Clock Tower 2 over here was actually a side game called Clock Tower Ghost Head. And it's one of the... Worst games ever made. Ah. And it's, like, not even related. What and about Clock Tower Warriors, where it's it's a Musou game where you are all the, collect all the characters from Clock Tower? I'm getting to that. Um, <laughs> and then there's, a, there's Clock Tower 3 on the PlayStation 2, which was after Capcom took over the license after uh, Human Entertainment kind of went out of business. Oh. Oh. Oh, man. Don't touch that dial. We're just getting started. Remember to save. Save periodically. Yes, that's right. I don't want game crashes. Because the game keeps crashing. Because the game keeps crashing. So it, it all sounds like... um, It's sort of like how Pokemon in America was actually a sequel to that Pokemon game where all the kids who made it to Lavender Town killed themselves. It's like that. Sure. Well, let's see what King Dodongo has. It's like when I ordered Halo on Half.com and I got that VHS tape in the mail that had the words Halo written on it in black Sharpie and my friends watched it and they all died in seven days. Yes, yeah, so something like that. Yeah. I didn't watch that tape. I'm still alive. Yes, but did you pre-order? Did you pre-order the pre-order? I, I did the pre-order <laughs> Halo 4. <laughs> <laughs> There's a chest here. Because normally it's like, here's some bombs if you don't have some. But now it's... Money! <laughs> the least amount of money you could have. One money. I would like one money, please. <laughs> I would like one Triforce, please. Like, please. <laughs> Triforce broke. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Triforce broke. Understandable. Have a nice day. <laughs> so does this one have the thing from um, from Zelda 1 where if you actually blow up a bomb right in front of its face, you can kill it in one hit? No. They should have brought that into it. I don't think that there have been there's been any like that like quite like that since because like there was a Dodongo boss in the Oracle of Ages I think, mm -hmm. and you still had to put the bomb in his mouth but then you had to like pick him up with the power braces and throw him into spikes. That sucks. One of the best things and one of the many good things in the NES Zelda was accidentally discovering that you can kill the Dodongos in one hit with that trick. I mean, like, well, now I have to try and do this. Oh, 
I probably could have two cycled him, but I didn't hit him not, the second. Not uh, six speed run tricks. I yeah. don't want to play anymore. I'm gonna tell my kids that was the demon ruins from Dark Souls. <laughs> What we got? What you giving us? Hot, hot lava. My greatest treasure. The Skull Tula. Should I even bother picking this up? I mean, it would be an insult to the Dodongo not to, so no. <laughs> Leave it. <laughs> Roger that. I'm gonna eat some of this candy. Greg got me Swedish fish. I did. Oh, you received the light medallion. Yes. Apologies to headphone users. Hmm. Oh, um, if they've stuck with us this far, they care not. They'd best. Alright. Actually, before we... The Gorons always wondered why there was less uh, tourism than they would have liked on Death Mountain. The billboards with the uh, Come Visit Sunny Death Mountain didn't really... They thought of changing the name, but they were too busy to do... Or too lazy, I should say, to do anything about it. They are just like, eh, fuck it. Now, the reason I'm going back in here is because there's another Skulltula that I can get. Mm -hmm. I just have to go back around the other way to get to it. Don't lie, you just wanted to hear that sick-ass Gerudo Fortress music again. Eh, you got me. I allow you to hit me to show you how strong I am. Strong like bull. And now I'm picturing Link doing the Rocky Four montage, and I don't know why. Oh my God! Did you hear about Rocky Four? What about it's Rocky the Four? Greatest crime. They were talking about this on Chapo Trap House. Sylvester Stallone is releasing a director's cut of Rocky Four this year. Okay. Right. That removes the robot from the movie. What? Folks, he's he's speechless. No. Yes. No. Yes. No. Why, why would you do that? Happy birthday, Polly is like one of the best parts of the movie. <laughs> they they're removing the robot from. I'm sorry. This is this is the. I'm a single issue voter, and my issue is not removing the robot. <laughs> right. Mr. Stallone, <laughs> you should be ashamed of yourself. Tear down this. Tear down this wall, Mr. Stallone. No. Robot or we riot. I know, what the hell. And I, I'm actually, I am a single issue voter, and uh, I think that, that having seen it now, that this is an issue that everyone in America can, can finally come together on. And I'm talking about the guy, I'm not sure if you saw this, on C-SPAN... Who uh, who went to the the like I want to say like Nebraska congressional hearing and asked them to uh, do something about boneless wings to change them to uh, to change the name of them because they're not actually they're just chicken tenders <laughs> to change the name of them to I forgot what he said uh, either either spicy nugs <laughs> or trash <laughs> uh, and uh, yeah. He wants them to regulate um, boneless wings because they're not actually boneless wings. They're just they're just chicken tenders. I like boneless wings. Yes, but they're not chicken wings. They're just chicken tenders with some flavoring on them. I don't they're care. They taste good. They're not wings with the bone out. I mean, I mean, if you want to change the name, I, I'm not going to stop you. But uh, you know, just as long as they're still available to. Uh, so that guy has my bow. neat. Like that's he has my bow and my axe. Um, All I'm saying is if either presidential candidate wants to take a stand on this issue and 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 reclassify boneless wings, I'm listening. America is listening. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Alright, so what we got next on the list here? What's on the list? Alright, what's on the list? Okay, so Dodongo's Cavern. 
Oh, okay. So in Goron City, there's apparently a grotto. With... Oh, we missed a grotto with three scrubs. I didn't even know it was there. But I think I know where it might be. It's like in an area that I don't normally go to. Well, that makes a certain kind of sense. All we've gotten there was like skull tool tokens, right? Yeah, all we've gotten so far is skull tool tokens. Oh, no, we got a rupee. And a Deku nut. And a thing of arrows. God, we've made okay. so much progress. I just... When I, I just want to know, um, I'm just thinking of when I, when I ever get, if I ever get about to, uh, around to updating the tracker, like if I had forgotten to put something important on there. This isn't even like when you open a Christmas present and it socks, because at least socks are useful. This is like going and opening your Christmas present and it has a used Pop-Tarts wrapper. Uh, is that a long shot? Uh, this is more of a Song of Time thing, I believe. Anyway, here's Wonderwall. I mean, we don't have the long shot, and the tracker said I could go here, so... Oh! That is why. Uh, do what now? Okay, it's probably not over here. Can you, can you play another Song of Time and make another block? Well, I don't see a place where Navi is saying, hey, a, a block can be here. Did she say that before? Yes. Oh, well, my bad. Well, you're probably fucked then. Um, I would I would see what Metagoron's selling, but I don't have enough rupees to pay him. Uh, Couldn't hurt to look. I suppose. I mean, it's probably just gonna say I got this sword because they didn't change the text boxes at all. But the thing is, like, it, it costs 200 rupees to get whatever he has, and I my ma I max out at 99 right now, so... Can we, um... Can we do installment plan, Mr. Goron? What is installment plan? God, he is barricaded, isn't he? Yep. Well, there's a gossip stone here, at least. Okay, Dronius dances to a small key. Well, there's no Deku scrubs in here. And you just basically say the same thing you normally do. Yeah, it just says the same thing he normally does. Yeah, you know, the only other place I can think of, the only place I can think of where it would be, would be across that lava, because there's nothing else. You want me to Google it? Uh, if you want to. Um, Lato in Goron City. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna try something stupid. Oh please! Do uh, it away. I'm gonna try maybe walking into that lava a little bit and seeing if I if it won't let me um, hook shot. Now it now it kicks me out of the first person view. If I had the Goron tunic, I probably could do that or the long shot, but I don't know. The game. I mean, the tracker says I could go up here. Equipped as I am. I mean, if this is indeed where the grotto is. I shuffle closer to the edge of the block. Will that do it? No. Oh, you have the Song of Storms, right? Yes. It's at the entrance to Goron City in the Circle of Stones. You play the Song of Storms to make oh, that's, it. Oh, that's different. That's a, um, that's normally a 200 rupee chest. Yeah. Uh, we've already done that. Well, we've done that. I can double check, but I think we've already done that. Okay, have you gotten the one in the Death Mountain Crater beneath the boulder near the entrance to Goron City? Um, I have not. I have that written on the list. I'm, I'm fairly sure I do. Okay. But, um, well, that has three. But I also don't have the Goron tunic, so I don't know how long will last in there. There's a lot of hearts. I could use a lot of hearts. Uh, apparently, according to this, you can play the Song of Time in that lava thing to create a pair of time blocks. Okay. And uh, that's how you cross the gap, and there are three business scrubs on the other side. Okay. Yes, we have been here. So that, that's what it's talking about then. So, okay, I, I didn't see Navi pop up and say, you can make a, another block here, but I will I will see we'll if... We'll check it out. We'll, we'll, we'll check it out. Don't have anything to lose, really. 
Play the drum solo of life! Say the line, Bart. What? It says a pair. I'm gonna try something stupid real quick. Okay, please. Ah. We weren't close enough. Oh, did it do the thing? Yeah, it was closer over to here. <laughs> oh, hold on. She she did point it out. Navi, point, please. Point, Navi, point. What is it, girl? Trouble in the old well? Casually playing my ocarina in the lava. Maybe we can't be standing on it? An outside observer sees Link. Trudge through the lava. There it goes! There it goes! Man, that was weird. Alright. There's the business hole. Yep. This better be three freaking tries. You can see pieces my business fucking... hole coming soon on. My three Dekus! <laughs> Let's see what he's won! There my we go! Piece. That is one! Hell yes! Keep the train going! Where's the hype? Light arrows! Light arrows! Okay, I won't say no to that. And what about you, oh, sir? Susanna, give me a Triforce piece. The shield! I will take the shield. Alright, well, three I useful, am... useful, three useful things. I don't know how the... Oh, yeah, the... the I, I guess the uh, light arrows could be useful if we never need to go, like, super into uh, the um, uh, Ganon's Castle. But uh, I'm happy with all that. Yes. Amazing. Excellent. Remember to say. Yes. My Kakariko Village. Kakariko next. Village. Now, the first thing on the list I have is Chicken Lady because. Um, mostly do chicken. Mostly do chicken, yeah. Uh, the thing is, like, we did, we did do the gather all the chickens and put them back in the pen thing as a kid, but um, for whatever reason, it never occurred to me. To talk to her as an adult because she normally gives you the first uh, trading sequence item. Oh. And all those are randomized in by default. So she'll give us something different, possibly a Triforce piece. Um, there's also a dude on a roof who normally gives you a piece of heart. I don't know if I can actually do that. I know that there's like a way that you can kind of finagle it so that the regular hookshot works for it. Uh, but normally you need like the long shot to do that. Same with the... Um, the Skulltula. Well, we shall see. That poor lady's been sitting there the whole game, clutching her Skulltula token tight, <laughs> waiting for you to speak to her. Oh, when will my prince come? It's okay, folks. I have a shield now. 